What's up guys, David here from Dignited. Today I want to show you how to connect your Roku streaming stick to the internet or Wi-Fi without a remote. Alright, let's get into it. Now before we get started, you should have the following requirements. Number one, the Roku streaming stick must have been set up to a prior Wi-Fi network before you lost the remote. Now let's say it was connected to your home Wi-Fi network and now you have traveled and forgotten or lost the Roku streaming stick remote. It should have been connected to your home Wi-Fi network, otherwise this will not work. If it was no longer connecting to that network when you shut it down or you cleared its network settings or you did a factory reset, your only recourse is to simply use a new remote to set up the Roku network once again. All right. The second thing is that you should know the Wi-Fi network name or the SSID and the password that the Roku stick was connected to before you lost the remote. And then you need at least two phones. The first mobile phone or tablet should have Wi-Fi hotspot capabilities. And then the second phone or tablet should have the official Roku app installed. We shall use this app as a virtual remote to control your Roku streaming stick. Right now, I want to tell you about my setup. I have the Roku streaming stick plus, and then I have the iPhone SE 2020, which I use to create a virtual hotspot. And then I have the Redmi Note 12 Android phone, which has the official Roku app installed. That being said, now let me show you how I managed to connect my Roku streaming stick plus to the internet without a remote. All right, guys, now I'm going to create a hotspot on my iPhone with the same Wi-Fi name and password as my former home network, which the streaming stick was connected to. One thing to note here is if your hotspot can use the 5 GHz Wi-Fi band, then simply switch it to the 2.4 GHz band for compatibility across all Roku models. All right, so from the iPhone here, just open settings, all right, and then go to personal hotspot here and then tap on allow others to join right here. That is how you turn on the hotspot. And down here, you can see the hotspot name. In my case, it's David's iPhone. But remember, we have to change this hotspot name to the hotspot name of the prior network that my Roku streaming stick was connected to. And then we also have to change the password. So I'm going to do that in a bit. So I'm going to change the hotspot name first. And the way you do that is simply go to general here still in settings and then about and then under name simply change it to the hotspot name that the roku streaming stick was connected to and i'm just going to change it to shaoqui here all right and now let's go back and change the password okay so i'm going to change it to the password of the wi-fi name that the roku streaming stick was connected to okay so i'm just going to change it here awesome all right, you can see the hotspot has been created on the iPhone. Of course, your iPhone should be connected to a mobile network and you should have a data plan running for you to create a hotspot on iPhone. All right, now if you have an Android phone instead of iPhone as your other phone, creating a hotspot on Android is pretty straightforward. Let me show you how. So all you have to do is to come to settings. I'm using a Redmi Note 12, but it will differ from one Android uh, model to another. Okay, so I'm going to tap on portable hotspot here, and then I'm going to turn on portable hotspots. And then to set up the SSID and the password, I'm going to tap on set up portable hotspot here. And here I can change the network name and the password quite easily. All right, so that is how you create a hotspot if you have an Android phone instead of iPhone. All right, after you've created the iPhone hotspot, simply pull the power plug on the Roku streaming stick for a few seconds and then plug it back in. When the Roku streaming stick starts up, it should automatically connect to the iPhone hotspot and then to the internet. This way, it will think that it's connected to your old home Wi-Fi network. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to do is to connect my Redmi Note 12 to the iPhone network so I can use the virtual remote on the Roku app. All right, on my iPhone, when I tap on hotspot here, you can see I have one device connected. And now let's connect my Redmi Note 12 to the iPhone hotspot. I'm just going to go to network here and then to Wi-Fi. And then I'm going to tap on the iPhone hotspot to show up here. I'm going to enter the password, which I created, and now it's connected. All right, so when we tap on 
the hotspot icon here you can see we have two devices connected now one being the Roku streaming stick and then my Redmi Note 12. So with the Redmi Note 12 and the streaming stick connected to the iPhone hotspot, I can now control my streaming stick through the Roku virtual remote. And all I have to do is to open the Roku app on my Redmi Note 12 smartphone here. And then I tap on devices. And now here I have two devices, my Roku TV and the streaming stick. So I'm going to tap on the streaming stick here, all right? And there you go, it's now connected. So since it's connected, I can now use my virtual remote to connect to Roku streaming stick. And now I'm easily navigating my Roku streaming stick using the virtual remote without using the physical remote. It's that easy. Now from here, if you're at a hotel and they probably have faster Wi-Fi, then you can now use the virtual remote to connect to the hotel's faster Wi-Fi network. All right, so that concludes our video on how to connect the Roku streaming stick to the internet without a physical remote. If you found value from this video, go ahead and give us a like. Also subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be notified of future tech videos. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.